Carter, really quick today for my two minute tip. I wanted to tell you about the time I was working with my very first YA editor, a brilliant woman named Donna Bray. And Donna and I had been editing for months and I thought we were ready. I thought we were going to copy editing. And she calls me up and she says, great news. We're ready for our line edit. And I thought, what do you mean? We're done. And she said, no, the book needs to be shorter. And I said, but it's 80,000 words. That's a really common length for a YA book. And she said, no, you don't understand it's not that it's too long, it's that it's not tight. And so she actually went through the book line by line, hard copy, red pen, old school, and marked up every single line in that manuscript. And when I got the package and I opened it up, I was just heartbroken because I thought, oh my gosh, my editor hates my book because there's not a line in here she didn't touch. And then I went through and I got it looking and I realized, you know, it's a lot of things like I looked down at the ground beneath my feet. Well, okay. So do you really need the word down in there? Cause it's not like you're going to be looking up at the ground beneath your feet. And it was things like that throughout the entire manuscript, you know, dialogue tags where it was already obvious who was talking and repetitive things that you'd already said three pages before and pretty much every single page of that book needed some kind of work like that. And I have a really good friend who was a librarian who had read the earlier draft and she loved it. And then she saw the new book and she said, I have no idea what you changed, but the book is 10 times better. We'd cut about 10,000 words out of the manuscript. And I think about that all the time now when I'm reading and I finish a book and I'm like, I didn't love it and why not? And I realize, oh, it was a 70,000 word story told with 80,000 words. And so think about that. Think about where you can tighten, where you can streamline, and where you can make your book better one word at a time.